Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain Lover Steve's, and today, chums, I want to have a look at the Adrift trailer. I'm going to slow it right down, and we're going to look at this with a little bit of more of an observation. With our little eye peepers, and it's grafted into our faces and skulls. Yes, and we're going to take a quick look and, and see if we can spot anything out of the ordinary. So let's jump on over to the old Tinter web, shall we? Here we go. Chikapow! Here I am on the old trailer, and let's hit play. I've had to mute it because of you know copyright and all that sort of shenanigans, but let's hit play. Okay, I don't think there's anything new about the actual traveller here. I mean, they are wearing like the, the the hood with a backpack rather than a cape, but yeah, nothing unusual there. What I am seeing that is unusual is we've got these eye stalk creatures over here. We've got this friggin' giant krakeny type octopus creature there. Now, when I was on my starting planet, I didn't see either of these. And I landed on some airless worlds. And again, I didn't see this sort of shenanigans. Heck no, I didn't. Right up, and we can see that it's got one of those um, abandoned -y derelict frigates in the sky over there. The ghost derelict ships. Something I haven't done yet, people is put that into my fleet and sent it out on missions to see if I get any strange sort of feedback from the vessel when it's doing missions. You know what, this is slow, but I think we can probably get away with going just a tad faster than that. So let's go a little bit faster. Let's go to half speed. Okay, cool. So we've got our big giant worm jumping over there, which is fine. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I don't need this in the corner anymore. Go away. Awesome. And then I spot something up in the top right hand corner over here in a minute, people. Watch quite closely over here as he takes off anyway in a bit. But this ship as well. Look at the engines. Oh, look, there you go. Look, there's a bird. There's a freaking bird. You see it above the actual ship. But anyway, look at the engines on this ship. My engines on my sort of iron, whatever it's called, iron vulture, they don't do that. I haven't got no physical, like visual niceness like what we're seeing there. But over here, you can see some more birds flying around. Look, there's one there. Yeah, definitely can clearly see it. And another one. There's birds on the planet. A planet with no atmosphere with birds. I mean, the, the octopuses and the eye stalk creatures I get. But birds in no atmosphere? A little bit suspect, that one. But anyway, they're there. So I think they might have messed about with the spawns on this planet for the demo. And yeah, you know, you, you don't get to see this low orbit sort of frigate appearing either inside of the actual expedition until quite late on your pop a badge and it's well out into space. It's not sort of like low orbit in the atmosphere of the planet. But yeah, those engine effects, I definitely would like to see those come into the game and be applied to our actual little haulers. That'd be pretty darn freaking lovely. OK, so all of this sort of stuff, I haven't spotted anything new with the old meteorites or the asteroids or whatever you want to call them. Uh, a few bits inside of here. Nothing really to note, to be fair. These sort of bits, these sort of intersections, all fine. This is odd. This is very odd. OK, I'm going to pause this. Because the actual grave itself isn't yellow, but that could be because of the actual planetary hues that are going on here. It looks like a very strange biome. You do see some beetles flying around here, but that's not the weird thing. The weird thing is we've got this crashed ship remains next to this, um, this grave. And it actually says ruined starships. Now, as I was exploring, I did not come across any graves by ruined starships. And it also mentions about finding ship tech for customising your ships. And it almost feels like these are going to be junk-like sites where we might be able to get some cosmetics for our ships or to build more custom ships, perhaps coming in-game soon. I think this, I think this is a glimpse of our future, people. I think this is coming into game. That's what I think. I think they were going to sneak it into. Uh, you know when they said that this expedition has ballooned out to be an update inside the patch notes? We'll have a look at the patch notes in a bit because there's a couple of odd snippets inside of there. And there's another little gem in there that was spotted. Well, somebody spotted in my comments. So thank you very much, person who spotted it. But I think this is to come. I think this is to come. I don't think this is for the expedition. I think this should have come into game. And for whatever reason, Hello Games are maybe holding it back for a larger update this summer. So yeah, and you can see here, this traveller is actually an anomaly, like what we start as. So that's very different. And we see we do see that once inside of the expedition. 
shooting the asteroids makes these little sort of like um strange jellyfish appear but you can see here there's loads of jellyfish in the background just flying around ambulantly amongst the meteorites that he hasn't shot and this this effect inside of the actual station here all this electricity we just don't got that we haven't got that now so it looks like they've improved the visual effects for the actual abandoned station and what's very interesting about the actual abandoned station if i go back just a little bit more you can see here it is flashing red okay but it also flashes blue now all the abandoned stations that i've ever been to just stay freaking red there's no flashing of blue happening there so i don't know whether they're coming into operation or something or whether there's a chance that you might be able to restore them but they have increased the actual fidelity of the visual effects to the outside of the abandoned stations again i think that might be coming into a future update to no man's sky people okay so now i'm over on the actual patch notes you can see here to help provide a safe haven in this new bulky hauler starship blah blah, blah called the iron vulture since we've added ship customization in our last update, we're also seeding the game. The game, not the update, the game. With lots of new customization options in Adrift, but then it goes and says Adrift, which is the expedition. So it's a little bit of a conflict there. That's why I wonder whether seeing those ship wreckages on planets by graves that show like a traveller, whether they might be seeding more customization options inside of the game coming perhaps in another update this year. Adrift was supposed to be our next expedition. Well, it freaking is. There's no qualms about it. It is an expedition, which it is. Which, yeah, cool. But it's ballooned out to, to into an update filled with improvements, unique gameplay, content and rewards. Okay. Unique gameplay, content and rewards. I think a lot of what we've seen inside of this Adrift Expedition is going to drift into our game. And I think it is going to bring more content and rewards into the actual game verse. How they go about doing that, I'm not sure. But I think we're going to have some sort of ways or means to travel over into this alternate reality, this alternate galaxy, this alternate universe, as they call it. Now... It does make me wonder whether, you know, we've got all these galaxies and when you put them together, that's the universe. So does that mean every single galaxy might have an alternate galaxy to it as an alternate universe that sits behind the universe we have now? Sound of in the comments, let us know. Am I clutching at straws with this? Am I joining dots that don't freaking exist? Or are you on the same page as me? Do you think this is a subtle hint at what's coming in the rest of the year? Okay, we already have two updates into the year with a release of Omega where we invited everyone to try the game for free and Orbital which overhauled the space stations and included a long requested ship, well sh feature, ship customization. We are grateful to have such an incredible community. It has been exciting and fascinating to see you all hunting and salvaging and documenting the hundreds of ship components available to assemble your dream ships. Okay, so I think they realise just how awesome the ship customization is and what sort of depth that can bring. And then when they talk about making your custom ships, straight after they say, we have much, much more planned for 2024. Do they mean more and more ship customization in way of those sort of wreckages? Or do they mean as a whole? Could it be that they're going to deliver more into the game around this sort of idea and flesh it out a little bit? Even at the end of the trailer, it says more will follow. And it almost feels like what more of what we see in the trailer will follow. I kind of feel that the Utopia um, expedition, where we brought the old stations back to life, part of the Utopia Corporation, might also play into this sort of thing. Maybe with some sort of defrag or some sort of antivirus. And we're slowly bringing these abandoned systems back to life. And now we've found a whole subroutine, a sub-universe that's got loads of these abandoned systems, is what I'm wondering. I'm wondering, is this going to be the realm of glass? Is it going to be the void? Is this going to lead on to the void mother? Because something that isn't in these patch notes, it doesn't say this is the conclusion to our four part ARG. I still don't think that's happened. I mean, it references Omega and Orbital, which weren't really part of that sort of thing. It was Singularity, Echoes, and there was one other, but it wasn't either of those. So, I kind of feel that the ARG, the closing part of the ARG, hasn't happened. I feel that this expedition has just given us a subtle hint of what might be on the cards later this year. 
And I think that the actual trailer itself was a massive subtle hint of what's going to be coming later in this year. Or, or it was just very heavily baked with lots of things that Hello Games just wanted to put in there as additional eye candy that isn't actually in the expedition. But then they've gone and done it inside of these patch notes. So I mentioned somebody that was slightly eagle-eyed earlier, didn't I? Well, take a look at this bottom bar. You've got Fighter, you've got Hula, but you've also got Solar. Solar ships. Solar ships, right there. Now, these little pidgets are odd because this one shows it right over to the left. So I suppose if you scroll back to the left, it'd probably go to that picture over there, but then that would be Solar Ship. Now, in previous trailers and patch notes and whatnot, the same sort of thing happened, but we actually saw Shuttle. So we know that they're working on Shuttles. We know they're working on Solar Ships. So if they're working on those two ships, maybe they're working on all sorts of other stuff to be putting in when it comes to the ship customization. Maybe they've just sort of penciled it in at the moment, but I honestly think that these sort of, you know, these scrapyard orthetics, I think we've only seen a handful of them, you know? I think there's probably way more. There's probably parts of explorers, parts of other sorts of ships, and we're gonna start finding these on this new sort of biome, because look at what it's wrapped in. It's wrapped in all these sort of weird vines that have got little sort of like light bluish crystals on. Well, we haven't really got a biome that really matches this apart from that starting planet that we started on inside of the actual expedition. I'm wondering whether they're going to be putting in this whole new sort of void like biome that's going to have a lot more sort of like eggs all over it, a lot more of those sort of horrors, maybe all the worms, like a worm virus ridden planet that's the void planet. And I think we're going to be going into this alternate realm to grab these ship parts, bring them back, make awesome ship customizations and just go to town with, you know, customized type looks but i think there's going to be a lot more to it than that it's like they mentioned nightmarish creatures i mean yeah we've got this guy as a companion but they could start adding in even more type void creatures it's like even on that void planet where you see the octopus creature coming out and you saw the the um ice sprouts and some flying creatures in the air what if they are just pencil holders for now they're, they're just like um little tacks to say, right, we want to put some creatures in. What can we use at the moment? Okay, we use these for now, but these are just placeholders. These are placeholders for our void creatures. I think we're going to see a lot more sort of void fauna coming in, and I think we're going to see a lot more life coming to void type planets in the future. That's what I think, people. Anyway, let me know. Am I diving off onto the deep end on this one? Have I kind of gone off the frickin' rails? I mean, I've been hitting the drum about the void and the realm of glass for some frickin' time. Yeah, we're, we're talking a couple of years, maybe even three. But it's like even the station overrides. They still have no rhyme or reason. There's quite a lot of different entry points that we could have that take us into the void. I mean, inside of this update that we just had, the Adrift, it seems to happen when you go through a portal, a sort of realm between, a little bit like what happened to Artemis. But yeah, I can think of a lot of different entry points to the void. In fact, I made a video on entry points to the void. If I can find it, I'll put it there and hit up that. Go watch that if you want to watch more speculation on the void. But anyway, I think we've got enough there from the Adrift and also the patch notes to say the rest of the year is going to be interesting, especially when Hello Games himself has said there's much, much more to come. And Sean of the Murray's said that this year was going to be a big year. I honestly think this year, come September, well, August, September time, we're going to get a gib emoji. Now, a gib emoji is something that Sean Murray puts out every time there is a massive version about to release. And we all know that we're on version 4.71.1 at the moment. Well, that could jump to version 5. Version 5, people. And it could be a big one. Um, I, I, I think it's going to be a big one this year only because of what Sean has said, and only because they say there's much, much more to come in 2024. Sound up in the comments. Let us know. Do you think this is going to be a gib year? Till next time, people. You've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.